everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial, and today we are painting the Leagues of Votan. Yes, here he is. This is one of the Hearthkin Warriors. This is a Thane of the Hearthkin Warriors, a sergeant equivalent for the troops. And, um, well, I'm very excited to be painting him. He is going to be painted in the colours of the Greater Thurian League, which is the box art scheme. And of course, a massive thank you to Games Workshop for sending me this army set early to paint up and review for all of you. Really, really exciting, really awesome models. Can't wait to show you everything that we've got in stock for you coming up very, very soon. So with all that in mind, we're gonna jump in and start painting him. He has been primed in gray sear. And the first color we're gonna be using is Croxagore scales. Now we're gonna be using this Croxagore scales all over the top of our Hearthkin's clothes. Now, if you had the darker armor, which you'll see in videos coming up in the future, if you have the darker box art armor, for example, on the Pioneers or Uthred or the Einhir Champion, you would also be painting this in here now, but it's a kind of almost exclusive to the troops scheme, which is the kind of really bright, almost white with the sea green being present on the helmets. and on the clothes. Obviously this gentleman doesn't have a helmet. So with that Croxagore scales applied, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some Pterodon turquoise and we're gonna paint over the top of the Croxagor scales. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Briar Queen Chill and we're going to paint this over the top of all of his armour. Now you could just recess shade this if you want to because ultimately this is going to be much brighter. But it's just a bit quicker to do it this way in the long run. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Corax White. I'm going to use this to re-layer all of our armor, except what we're going to do is we're just going to avoid the recesses. So we're going to do that little panel there. I'm going to skip over the recess. Rest of the panel. Just like this. So 
with that done, you should have some pretty cool looking armor. And I didn't realize that this bit up here is also the same color as the sort of darker sea green armor. First time painting these guys, mistakes happen. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now though, is whilst we're just waiting for that to dry before we put the pterodon turquoise on, is we're gonna take some black legion. I'm gonna use this on quite a few details here. So we're gonna be painting in the boots. We're gonna be painting in the remaining parts of the backpack in terms of the structure of the backpack. So for example, this main section here. And we're gonna be painting in the bolt casings or weapon casings, I should say. And we're gonna be painting in the knee pads and elbow pads, as well as the parts of the gloves that we haven't painted in. So the fingers and well, the bits that aren't armored. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Garagax sewer. We're gonna use this to paint in the leather details that remain. So this is the belt. And the pouches. And with that done, we're then going to take some flesh terrors red and apply this to the grip on the axe. So with that done, we're going to take some Cassandora Yellow. I'm going to apply this to the Plasma Raw Axe. Just like that, we're not looking for too heavy a coat here. Nice and gentle, we just want to tint it yellow basically. Whilst we're waiting for that to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron warriors. I'm going to use this to paint in, well, quite a few details. So, we've got the carabiner here on the belt, like that. We've got the belt buckle itself. We've got the mechanical areas on the guns. And we've got pretty much all of the remaining details on the backpack, which is to say these little areas, this area, as well as the power nodes on the axe. So with that now done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down retributor armor. We're gonna paint this over the gold details. Now this is going to include the head up here, the runes on the side of this doodad And with that done, 
going to take some dark coat flash. I'm going to use this over the top of our Thane's face. And with that done, we're then going to take some Garagax sewer. I'm going to apply this over the top of his beard. So with that done, we just got a few more things left to do to get him up to that battle ready stage. And these include shades. And one of them is going to be Fuegan Orange. I'm going to use this over the light. Just there on his chest. And we're also going to use this on the blade. We're not going to paint the whole thing. We're just going to paint along the flat of the cutting edge. I'm going to wash the brush. I'm just going to make sure that we've got a really nice clear yellow line. And so with that done, we're then going to take some Magma Droth Flame. I'm going to apply this to the blade, but we're going to apply it along half of it, and then we're going to wipe off any excess, because we don't want it to be close to the kind of housing of the weapon. So. We're going to grab that Magma Droth Flame. And go along the cutting edge of the blade, leaving that yellow there. Wash the brush. And then we're just going to smooth it out. Like that. I'm just going to apply a little bit of Magma Drop Flame here because we've taken a little too much off. And with that done, we're then going to take some Null Oil. I'm going to use this to shade all of our silver details as well as any of the black. And with that done, our final shade is going to be some Dark Oath Flesh over the top of our Retributor armor. So with that done, our great Arthurian Leaguesman is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. He's looking pretty awesome. However, we're not going to leave it there. No, we are going to take him to the next level. I'm going to do this by adding some highlights. Now, the first one we're going to add is Sotek Green. I'm going to be using this to highlight all of his clothes and this little bit of armor, or this little bit of structure up here. And so with that Sotek green applied, we then take a tiny amount of Cyberite green. Add this to our sharpest points. And all of these details. So with that Cyberite Green applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some thinned down white scar. I'm going to use this to just add a little spot highlight, really, to all of our white armor. 
And we're not looking to highlight the whole thing here. Just want to create some interesting focal points of the light. So for example, just around there. Around there like that. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Gawthor Brown and we're going to use this to highlight all of the leather. So with that Gawthor Brown applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Thin down Dawnstone. I'm going to use this to highlight all of our black details. So, with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Screaming Skull. I'm going to use this to highlight the inside edge of the axes. Blades. We go right up to where the casing is. Just like this. And with that done, we then want to take some Fire Dragon Bright. I'm going to use this to highlight the cutting edge of the axe. And finally, just to finish it off, we're going to take some Fuegan Orange. And we're just going to apply it over all of our colours now. Just like that. So with that axe all finished, what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Liberator Gold. I'm going to use this to highlight the gold details. So with that Liberator Gold applied, we're then going to take some iron hand steel and we're going to use this to highlight, not shade, all of our silver details. So, with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some flayed one flesh and we're going to use this. To highlight our dwar. Well, I was going to say dwarred, but I don't know if they are dwards. Anyway, <laughs> just got lost in the moment for a moment there. We're highlighting his face. I don't know if you can tell. So with that done, we're now going to take a teeny tiny amount of Black Legion. I'm going to apply this over the top of his eyeball. Typically we would do both the eyes, but um, he appears to have lost one. So with that Black Legion applied, we want to take a teeny tiny dot of Screaming Skull. We want to apply this in the corner. of his eyeball. Just this one, 
So it looks like he's looking off this direction, like that. So with that done, we're then gonna take a teeny tiny amount of Bane Blade Brown. I'm gonna use this to highlight his eyebrows and his beard. And his moustache. And so with that done, just to finish him off, what we're going to do is we're going to take a tiny amount of Blood Angels Red. I'm going to paint this over the top of the buttons on his wrist. And if he had a helmet, it would be over the top of the visor as well. But he does not. He's fearless. No helmet can contain that beard. And so, with his base complete, our great Arthurian Leaguesman, or Kin Warrior, Kindred, I think is the correct term, is now finished, and he looks absolutely fantastic. I'm a big fan of this as the choice for the box art scheme. I think it's really striking, very, 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 very unique in terms of that kind of cold white armor. I'm really, really big fan of that. Can't wait to do more. <laughs> I'd like some more new kits. Ugh, just really, really like all things Leagues of Votan. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further, like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you can become a YouTube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these awesome folks have done. And if you really loved this one and you just want to shoot me some support, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.